with the majority of critics saying Indiana Jones 5 is kinda bad, I guess this is the time for us to look why this might be the case. Other than bashing Disney for all sort of reasons, let's dive into the fact that this movie failed without even releasing, at least a whole month before the movie releases worldwide. The major reason about that is the fact that Indiana Jones, I could say, is basically a 80s franchise with all the charm of any other 80s movies. And what I mean by that is, when Indiana Jones released, there were not much of movies like that. But at this point, there are a bunch of movies where a group of characters goes on a treasure hunt. Even the mummy movies are like that with the twist of having a mummy. The National Treasure is also like a treasure hunting movie. So we have a bunch of franchise. What Indiana Jones did was made a platform and other movies built up on it. So when Indiana Jones 4 released, it tanked. People didn't want it that. Tropes of the modern movies as well as 80s movies mixed together in a weird way. The same thing can be said happening with the Marvel with the MCU cause when MCU started, it made a platform or a base for the superhero movies but now there are so many superhero movies that even the newer MCU movies feels like same plot points rearranged to make a new movie with generic superhero dialogues. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, Kathleen Kennedy. Not many people like her as the director of Lucasfilm because of Star Wars movies, so that is also another reason Indiana Jones comparatively had a less hype. Now having said that, it's not like Disney has nothing to do with it. Disney fucked up real bad. What Disney did with quantity over quality approach with Marvel and Star Wars shows, Disney already had a bad track record and Indiana Jones being another Disney property, this already has people less interested about it. So if you are watching this video and enjoying this so far, why not like, share, subscribe and do all the things all other youtubers ask you to do while I complete the video. So far you have seen I have not talked about the trailer or Indiana Jones 5 to be specific cause the trailer is pretty cringe so that might be the biggest reason why this movie failed even before releasing. But why does it feel cringe? In the modern era you might have heard something called bait and switch where movie or the show is supposed to be based on a certain character but it ends up being show of some other characters and and that has been happening for a while and that happened a lot in the Disney movies. People were sure that Indiana Jones 5 would be a movie about Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character and is kind of proven by the trailer saying that if you watch Indiana Jones 4, that movie was about propping up Shia LaBeouf's character because he was hot topic at that time for his Transformer movies. So this is not like something new Hollywood is doing by making an Indiana Jones movie not about Indiana Jones. But Disney having a track record of kinda destroying the characters of Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Obi-Wan, Loki from Marvel, Captain America, Falcon and the list goes on. So you can see a trend and the reason for not liking Disney that much. That's it for today's video so I'd like you all to comment down why do you think this movie failed at least a whole month before the movie releases cause that's a pretty new concept. Until then like my video, share my video with your friends, family, subscribe to my channel and hope to meet you in the future.